Thank you so much for joining me to pray for our children. Thank you for all those who have joined, who have prayed. Prayer of thanksgiving for our children, for the opportunity to be parents, for the opportunity to be in the position to lead and direct children. I pray that we will not lose our reward in Jesus' name. I appreciate you all so much. God bless you. Today, I want us to go in the angle of guidance. You know, our children, the truth is as parents, we can only do a little when it comes to directing our children. It's the Lord that will do it. You know, it's the Lord that will direct the heart of our children because he has the heart, their heart in his heart. There is a little we can do as parents. God has put us in that position. We must not fail God as parents. There comes a time in the life of our children where they are responsible to make choices for themselves. When they are still young and they are under our care, yes, we have the, we have the authority to make choices for them, to lead them in the right way to make choices for themselves. But as parents, we must know that it's God that can direct and guide our children in making the right decision so that they, are, they will not jeopardize or affect their future. Because the truth of the matter is, brothers and sisters, God has a special plan for every child. Every child is unique. Every child was brought forth for a purpose. It is the responsibility of the ch- of the parent from birth to help channel their children in the right direction because they have an assignment to fulfill. But when we as parents miss it from the from the start it's it, you you make it difficult for that child so first of all as parents we must receive direction from god to be able to lead our children in the right way and prayer for our children that as they continue to grow as they mingle with different people in school at play different people they meet on 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 a daily basis you know that our children will not be subdued by the power of peer prayer. That our children will not be lured into the world. The things of the world will be disgusting to our children. That our children will make right decisions. Because the assignment God has for them, the devil is also interested. Look at the, look at the life of Samson. Samson is one example in the Bible that, you know, I just think about it. What was Samson thinking about when he, he, he exposed the secret of his, of his power to Del- Delilah? What was Samson thinking of when he, 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 he was so weak that he could, he, because of his weakness and sexual, and, and sexual desire or player, Samson made the made the wrong made the wrong choice, made a wrong decision. As parents, we have we have work to do on our knees by praying for our children. I just want us to understand the place of praying for guidance. There is an assignment for every child. God had uh, had your child in mind. Because he had an assignment for that child. When God was creating Peter, God knew that he would go through through this persecution. He would go through challenges. When God was creating Paul, God knew that he would be able to withstand all the challenges and persecution that would come his way. When God created 
Esther. God knew the assignment Esther would do in the life of, of the children of the children of God. When he, when he was he, she was assigned in the palace, God knew. Look at David. God knew that it was David that would conquer Goliath. He already chose him. He already prepared David for that assignment. Your child is prepared. He is chosen and has a purpose. It's the responsibility of us as parents to guide that child. And I want us to not, I want us to pray as parents because at this time it's a challenging time raising children. It's a challenging time. You know, I was watching, I, I saw something on online some days ago about a child that said he just desires to kill people, he just wants to kill and see people die, shoot everybody. You know, I was just trying to imagine. Maybe, just maybe the parents of that child have exposed him to all these bloody movies and you know, all these bad movies. It was a decision they made wrongly that has exposed that child negatively. We must be careful of choices we make as parents. Be careful of the choices, of the things you do because your children are watching. You are directing those, those, those children and you must do what is pleasing before God regarding your child. Let's just begin to, to thank God for our children because our children are not for misfortune. Because God is going to guide our children. He has the heart of our children in his hands. God, we pray for our children. You will seal their hearts in your palms, Lord. Our children will not go into the world to be part of the world. They are in the, they are in the world, but they are not of the world. Our children will be separated from the children of the world. You will guide them, Lord, in all decision making. You will keep them safe. You will protect our children. You will you will help them to make right decisions, Lord. We can only try by praying for them. God, help them. Help our children, Lord. Guide, protect, direct our children, Lord. Help them that whenever they are making decisions, the Holy Spirit will begin to reveal things to them. In the name of Jesus, every step of the way, from their young age, they will have an encounter with you to know the purpose for which they are created. Lord, you will guide our children. Lord, you will direct our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will not make any mistake. Any mistake, even if they make mistake, Lord, you will teach them. You will teach our children. You will guide our children in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, our children will not derail. Our children will not miss the path of righteousness. Our children will not depart from your presence. In the name of Jesus, Look at the case of Samson. He had a glorious future. He had he had great plans that God already had in store for for Samson. But Samson, because of his weakness, because of of that of that lustful desire in him, any weakness, any any strange desire that the devil wants to plant into the life of our children so that they will not fulfill the purpose for which God has created them. We cancel in the name of Jesus. Lord, you have given us these children. The enemy will not snatch them from us. You will guide our children. You will guide, direct our children in the name of Jesus. Their hearts will pant after you. They will desire you with the whole of their heart, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you because you will keep our children. Father, we pray for ourselves as parents. 
Help us to lead our children in the right way. Help us to make right decisions. Help us to make to, 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 to make decisions and choices that would not affect our children negatively in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you will keep in perfect peace we and the children you have given unto us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.